Christ, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Hey guys, Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to the third tutorial on FIFO accounting how to in Excel. Keep in mind that this is only a Excel tutorial. It's not meant to be for tax or accounting advice. Make sure you go to a professional for that. Okay, so, so far we've only been dealing with one type of product, which is in this case, pens. But you might have other things in stock. Maybe you've got mice or keyboards or whatever it is. So let's talk about how that would work first. Then I'll talk about how you would do it if in, in some different situations where you have constructed your sp spreadsheet a different way. But let's say I have two sheets. Okay, so I'm going to make a copy of this. Create a copy. And I'm just going to make this one called pens. And this one, I'm going to call it keyboards. Okay, and obviously for keyboards, I can then have a, just keyboards instead of pens. And I would have different data. Okay, I would have different data. Maybe keyboards cost uh, $25. $30, $35, $50, and I buy different units, okay, and same thing here, I sell at um, different units, oops, okay, and so total quantity units sold, I probably want total quantity purchased, some bracket just to check that I haven't sold more than I have purchased. And I would have oh, selling price. So I would sell them at a bit more than how much it cost, I imagine. So $30, $35. Uh, 60 whatever so that's my profit here okay so then you got pens you got keyboards so you can simply have a total profit sheet and you just say total sales total cost total profit and you simply equal make them equal each of the sheets where you have the different products so i've got sales plus the sales in the keyboard sheet and press enter and it's got the total sales from the two sheets okay so you got the sales from the pens sheet is um, 130 plus five seven five seven hundred so five eight three zero and the total cost you got equals the pens cost plus the keyboard costs and the total profit is simply equal to this one minus this one 1653 and you can check the profit as well just to see that there's no errors equals the pen profit plus the keyboard profit press enter it's the same these two numbers are the same Okay, so that is your total profit for different items. Now let's talk about what you would do if you kept all your records on the same sheet for both pens and keyboards. Okay, so somehow you kept them all in one sheet and it's going to make things a lot more complicated. But um, I will just explain how you would fix that. So let's say that I completely mess this up because it's going to be hard to, um, but let's say I copy all of that and I paste it here. I insert some rows and paste it here. Insert, oops. So insert some blank rows. I think I pasted it already just by doing that. So 
copy. If I click this, it inserts it, which is very good. So then I get rid of that because that's not meant to be there. Shift cells up. Okay, and then what you need to do is if you have different records mixed together, okay, what you would do is you would highlight your cells, okay, and you would go to sort and filter, filter, and make sure you select just the product you want. So let's say I just want keyboards and you just have the keyboards and then you would copy that and paste it into another cell. So you get the keyboard data out. Basically, you have to separate the data into different sheets in order for you to do it. So that's the idea. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.